cars, but how are you still alive, son? Good morning, everybody. Whoa, this doesn't sound like a standard Lupo Barry. Hi, my name is what? My name is what? My name is Slim Lady. Slim Lady. Slim Lady. Slim Lady. Officially gassed, yeah. and when you bought it, obviously the guy told you in inverted commas yeah. <laughs> that the car was 367 horsepower. 68. 68. But after the after the video that I done, I just went and got it dyno for peace of mind, and it turned out it made 285. Which so is quite a bit, almost 100 horsepower less. Yeah. How much horsepower now? 412. <laughs> <laughs> and how many torques? Quite a lot of torque. Yeah, just under 400 foot pounds. Which is mad in a little car which weighs what, a ton? Yeah, just crazy uh, man. We got a little bit of a straight to see what it's about. I say this in all these fast cars, but how are you still alive, son? Jesus, man, this is absolutely rapid. You've got a LSD, a Quaif? Yeah, it's got a Quaif in it. And the gearbox on this is just a standard, like, Mark IV Golf GTI yeah, that's it. gearbox. I bought the car and then I probably spent another 15 grand on it. Really? Either, and either, either what sort of space of time? Three months. <laughs> <laughs> as well we can say it now because but back when you bought this you actually went and got a loan didn't tell your missus yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry missus if you're yeah, watching <laughs> but he's created a fantastic car i must say and you actually had a 1.8 forged mower on the side when you bought it it had the 1.8 turbo in it already yeah you actually junked that mower and actually put your own yeah, one put, in there put, put one that was already built put it straight in so upgraded the um, engine mounts full size intercooler a new radiator Gearbox, meth. Oh, we've got meth as well. Yeah. I love a bit of meth. What turbo is this? Uh, GT28. Okay, like a disco potato. And how much? How much boost to get 400 brake? I think it's about 28 psi. It's quite a lot of quite a lot of boost pushing onto two bar. Yeah. 1.8 two bar. And what about the exhaust system? Obviously, no no cat decat. Yeah, it's three inch all the way all back. All the way back. Okay. And it's got a, it's got a silencer in the back. Back box is slightly different because the original came with like twin pipes in the yeah, middle, didn't it? it? Yeah. What's the 
the mileage on it? 135, yeah. it's not actually high for a 20, no. 23 year old car. The, um, the old. engine itself obviously was fully re rebuilt. I think that only had 6,000 miles on it before I bought it. So okay, so very nice and high mileage when you started. Yeah. Yeah. A little second gear pull for you lovelies. What RPM yeah. right, This is 2,000 RPM. And then the tyres? Uh, sorry, got just good Now we're actually sort of in a in a quiet sort of town and we can't kind of send it. It is very usable. It's not it's not massively loud. No, it's not loud. It's obviously... when, when you get on it, it's pretty yeah. pretty loud. But... When you drive it, sensibly, it's, it's quiet. It's like any other car. Yeah, it sounds like it's almost stock with just a little a bit exhaust. of exhaust on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't forget as well, you lovelies. I'm actually it's too hot to wear a jumper. So I'm only doing it to show it off. <laughs> Feel that quality though. What do you reckon? Yeah. These are super, super sick. I've got loads of jumpers in stock. Check out this embroidery. They really are next level. Make sure you check out the website. Do a buy, hand packed by yours truly. It's not the sound you expect to come out of the loop <laughs> Right, we stopped off for a cheeky little bit of Macca's. Cheeky little cheeseburger, Mr. Barry. Cheers, thank you. 28 disco potato, turbo blanket here. Three inch down pipe, which goes all the way to the back. Three inches all the way through. Nice TIG welding on the intake pipe. Same again on the intercooler pipe work. Ram air, air filter. The standard one, yeah, they, can, standard. they can take a lot of horsepower? Uh, yeah, they can take up to a 500 brake, I think. Okay. I would like to probably get a new one. Nice shiny plenum. Yeah, <laughs> expensive one. <laughs> R8, Audi, Cool yeah. Stock pistons, but forged, forged rods. Forged con rods. Yeah. Cheeky little front mount. Alley rad down here as well. Fan as well, just pulling all the air through. Standard fuel rail. Injectors, you've got up to a, a 550. 550 yeah. And you've got an AEM fuel pump, fuel pump yeah, in the back as well. Pump. Vibra Technic engine mounts. And I will remark as well, your man that made all the intercooler pipe work and the intake pipe work, he's done a really sort of neat and tidy job. So that's your little sensor for the meth. And you said it comes in around about 15, 15 20, 20 PSI. PSI. Yeah. You've got a meth tank in the back. Yeah. Have a little look. Yeah, yeah. They got tiny boots as well. Lee. Oh, hello. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I can see there. Look at that, man. It's literally like the smallest boot in the world, isn't it? To be fair, you've actually got quite a lot of sort of legroom in the back. You could comfortably. I mean, I wouldn't say you could drive to the south of France and with four people, but definitely not. You can squeeze. You can check the kids in it. Oval exhaust we were talking about. Barry's kind of hydro dipped the um, scuttle panel in like a sort of carbon effect, just to sort of tidy up the engine bay. Looks really nice. That's obviously. Um, Barry's Instagram, beef77, so if you want to give him a cheeky little follow to support the build, feel free. This is posh. These seats are from a quite a new sort of VX, VXR Corsa. VXR Corsa. Cheeky little double din head yeah. unit, with sat nav and stuff. Well, Suede yeah. OMP steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. What size is this? Probably like a... I think it's a 320. 320, maybe? yeah. Wasn't it just the GTI that had like all the chrome binnacles? I'm sure the standard ones just had regular plastic binnacles. Yeah, I think it was. I the think. GTIs have chrome, yeah. That was actually the original interior, Barry, when yeah, you just, from when you yeah, bought the just, car. Yeah, it's just been re-trimmed. And then these were standards on the GTIs? Standard and they're becoming really rare. Right, hopefully that gives you guys a little rundown of what's been done to this little beast. We're going to head back out onto the road. We're going to give the keys to John and send it. I'm definitely putting my belt on for this. <laughs> <laughs> Just over 100 degrees water temp now, so we're just going to cruise along for a little bit and see if we can get it to cool down. Oh, <laughs> 
I couldn't do a few more pulls today. Like we said, cars running absolutely spot on. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get the electric fan to work, so we kind of had to sort of rag it and then stop a little bit and bring you the best footage we possibly could. Hats off, though, Barry. Thank you. Honestly, it's a proper machine. It's been a pleasure. I mean, the levels you're at now, I think you're kind of happy with, aren't you? You don't want to go yeah. to that sort of no, any, any leave further. It, leave it how it is, maintain it, and uh, yeah, show it off. Yeah, and enjoy, enjoy it. it yeah. yeah, not send it in through the bushes. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, you've got to know what you're doing. Yeah. To put this kind of power through the front wheels, especially with that Quaif ATB, you do have to have your sort of wits about yeah, you, you, don't you? Be, you have to be on it. It will bite you a little bit if you, uh, if you mistreat her too much. You will kill yourself and all your passengers. <laughs> Barry was saying to you, what's the worst, well not the worst car, what's the sketchiest car you've been in? And I kind of said, the Metro, not because it was built, I mean Jake built it very nicely, but it's a freaking Metro with like yeah. 500 brake. And obviously yeah. they had a very low like end star or end cap rating. Yeah. So at least with this, it is a tiny car, but at least it does feel a little bit more sort of right, yeah. robust. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little video. Massive thanks to Barry Thank for you. bringing the little Lupo down. As always, if you've got a car like Barry and you want to come down and show it off to your mates and make a sick video to show the grandkids, feel free to give us a shout. All you've got to do is go on the Monkey London website, click feature my car, fill out the little um, the little form and send it. And you want to do a shout out as well to the guy that helped you build the yeah, car as well. Brad at Ford Corporations and a uh, big shout out to Bennett Devil Development for uh, tuning in. Yeah, a great yeah. As always, hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little instalment. Make sure you give the video a like. Put any comments down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. We made it down. He said, folks, when the truck picked up too much speed, I just run along beside him and drug my feet. You heard the legend of Jesse James and John Henry just to mention some names. Well, there's a truck driving legend in the south of Dade. A man called Bandit from Atlanta, G.